GPIO output mode with push pull state. All right, let's understand GPIO output mode with push pull configuration. This is the default configuration of any GPIO pin when you configure the pin for output mode. Remember, when you enable a GPIO port, by default, its pins will be in input mode. But if you configure any pin as output mode, then by default, it will be in push-pull configuration, which looks something like this. This output configuration is called a push-pull because the output will be pulled actively between high and low by using these two transistors, unlike other configurations such as open drain configuration where the output can be pulled only to low as you saw in the earlier video. In order to pull the output high in the open drain configuration, you need a pull up resistor, otherwise pin will be floating, right? But in the push pull configuration, you don't need any pull ups or pull down resistors. Push-pull output actually uses two transistors. Each will be on to drive the output to the appropriate level. The top transistor will be on when the output has to be driven high and the bottom transistor will be turned on when the output has to go low. Okay, now let's see how you can drive an LED from a push-pull output configuration. The first thing you should notice here is that there is no pull-up resistor. The LED is simply connected to the pin via the current limiting resistor. This resistor is just used to limit the current which flows across this LED so that you don't burn out the LED. So when I write one to the input over here, the top transistor will be on and the pin will be pulled to high and the LED will be forward biased, which makes it to glow. On the other hand, when I write zero, the top transistor will be turned off and the bottom one will be turned on, which pulls the pin to the ground. As a result, LED will be turned off. This is how the push-pull configuration actually works.